guys welcome back to my channel it's taisha thank you so much for clicking on today's video so as you guys can see from the title we are talking all about drugstore makeup my favorites of 2020 i already went ahead and did some hair care skincare and overall like higher end makeup on my last video so i'll go ahead and put it somewhere here on the screen in case you guys haven't seen it um so today i wanted to dedicate a whole video to my drugstore favorites because i have so many i feel like for this this time around it was a lot harder to pick because i love drugstore makeup so so much so yeah without further ado relax sit back it's probably gonna be a long one and let's just go ahead and get started so i'm gonna go ahead and begin talking about brows just like my last video i always start with brows then eyes and then we'll move on to complexion products so for brows i feel like before back in the day drugstore brow products were not that good but now honestly they are amazing and I recently just tried this ones from NYX so I do want to mention them even though I haven't been using them for that long um, I use them every time I do my makeup now and definitely something new you guys should all go and try out so this is called the NYX lift and snatch brow tin pen I have it in two shades ash brown and I also have it in espresso if you guys are like brow twins to me I would just say stick to espresso the reason why I love this product so much is because it's so thin like the little applicator is so thin so you can create fake looking brows it also does it's not that pigmented i'll show you guys so it's not gonna create like eyeliner brows look at that you see like it's not that pigmented and since we're talking about nyx i'm also gonna recommend to you guys the brow glue this is another really amazing new item at the drugstore that just creates better looking brows so if you guys struggle with brows like i do definitely try these two products so now onto something i've been using all year long it's this brow pencil from maybelline it's called the brow ultra slim pencil in the shade medium brown this is super thin it creates again natural looking brows i struggle a lot with my brows so i need something more like thin and easier to create my brows without looking like you know i just run in all of them this is another product i highly recommend that will elevate your brow game trust me you guys so i'm gonna move on now to some eyeshadows um definitely drugstore eyeshadows are getting 10 times better especially this one's from elf this is called the bite size eyeshadow palette i believe they're only four dollars or three dollars super extremely affordable which i love elf definitely killed it this year and i know they're gonna kill it next year too their makeup is just getting better and better they're the third brand i actually bought anything from like the first thing ever ever i didn't even buy it my mom bought it for me so these are just some eyeshadow palettes that are pretty much they created like a look for you so you can create multiple different looks but you can also like you see you have mattes and then a shimmer you can also create an all matte look i did like a similar look to this um, I think it was like two videos ago testing new drugstore makeup out I created a really nice smoky liner look and you can easily create it with this one in truffles They also have this one in hot jalapeno, which is a really pretty like green palette and they're pigmented They wear amazing. They're honestly hidden gems at the drugstore um, If you guys are like loyal followers to me, you're gonna be like, yep I knew this was going to be in your favorites because I mention all these products all the time. Another brand I love is Profusion Palettes. You guys know I love this brand. They have amazing quality, really affordable. You can get them at Walmart. So this one is the Neon Palette, the Mirage Palette from last year. I still love and it's definitely one of my favorite ones. If you're going to try the 50, or 35 Shadow Palette, I recommend this one and the Sun Kiss. Those by far are my two favorite ones. So... The Mirage is just like the beautiful spring, fall. Honestly, you can wear it all year long. And especially in the summertime as well. And everything, again, is pigmented. It's only like $15. Hopefully my camera is focusing. But it's super affordable and you get really good quality. Profusion does have a lot of fallout. So you have to have patience with them. It's not like ColourPop you know quality but it's really 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 good especially if you use a lighter base underneath and then the neon palette is something i discovered this year that i love all these little palettes the 10 shade palettes are very nice and i think i own almost all of them you can get them at walmart like i said so if you want a good eyeshadow palette you don't even want to spend money to try a formula you just want like the color scheme you want something that's always going to be good i recommend ColourPop. so this is actually what i have on my eyes today 
Shea. It's the Meant to Be palette. So I honestly just went in with two shades. I went in with this color and then this shimmer here to create this look. And I really like it. And even this one right here by Raw Beauty Christie. It's another one of my favorite palettes. So shout out to ColourPop. So again, from the Raw Beauty Christie ColourPop collab, I love this liner. I'm gonna go buy another one. It is like the prettiest warm nude shade. I don't know, it's like a caramel. It has like the perfect amount of warm tone. So it looks like this. So this is the ColourPop X Raw Beauty Christie liner in the shade Woodsy. And it's like the perfect woodsy color. I have it on my eyes today again. I love this. You can pair it with so many different looks. It's, it enhances brown eyes. Honestly, any color eyes is gonna look really good with this. Mascaras, I have two that I really love. So this one is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I discovered this this year. I was just looking for an affordable mascara. I don't like spending too much money on them. So this one, it's amazing. I highly recommend it. It doesn't make your eyes black at all. So it lasts all day. The one looks like this. So this gives you more volume which i like for my lower lashes so i recommend this one for lower lashes and then for your upper this is a new one that i discovered it's the maybelline sky high lash sensational mascara this one the one looks like this so when they're more thin and more like harsh like this they create your lashes to look more longer so this one's really good for lengthening and this one's good for volumizing so since i don't really have lashes like that i have to use this one and then I apply this one and it's a really good combo. So try this combo out and then thank me later. It's really good. So moving on to lashes. I completely forgot to mention lashes on my last video. So I got you guys. Um, so I'm going to start with the ones I'm wearing right now. These are not drugstore lashes, but I'm still going to give them a shout out. This is the Luxie Lash Homegirl Lashes. These are the ones I'm wearing right now and I always wear. They are perfect for my eye shape. They just open up my eyes and it creates a really pretty wispy look so definitely my favorite ones at the moment i also like k ming's lashes i do have a coupon code with them which is taisha um i'll go ahead and link them below so you guys can go check them out i like h27 and i also like sa684 or something like that i forget the name but you guys have seen me use them before so i'll link them below if they're in stock because they're always out of stock but yeah definitely use my code it is a commission code so huge thank you to everybody who does use it because some codes are not like affiliated like you don't get any money like my Shein one I don't get any money I just think they use it to see like if they should keep working with me you know what I mean so I like being super honest with things like that so yeah those are like my lashes that are more expensive that I like and then at the drugstore I really like this ones they're like all messy I need to fix them they're the beauty creations I can afford it I also like the legit lashes these are super affordable I'm so happy beauty creations came up with them they create again that really pretty wispy faux mink effect but they're at the drugstore and they're actually like faux mink i also really like this ones from kiss they're the glam lashes this one creates more of that really pretty like smoky looking eyes i have done tutorials using this ones as well and again another one of my favorite lashes i am picky when it comes to my lashes you guys so definitely check those out they're gonna create that glam effect on your eyes last but not least i'll just mention this before i forget which is the kiss strip lash adhesive this is what i use to adhere my lashes and i love this it's latex free i'm allergic to latex so this doesn't hurt my eyes and it wears all day like it perfectly wears all day for me i'm gonna start talking about complexion products i am super excited to share with you guys a bunch of primers that i love that work with texture oily acne prone skin so i'm gonna start with one that i'm pretty sure you guys have have heard me talk about it's the elf matte putty primer this came out back in january and it's really really nice consistency it makes my makeup last longer it has like a more thin like consistency so when products are more on the thinner side it really makes your makeup stay matte all day and it also does blur your pores so if you have oily skin definitely check this one out it works amazing and i do have like a whole wear test on 
comparing it with the other primers so definitely check that video out if you haven't yet another primer that i love it's another like smoothing primer this one from heart candy it's called the smoothing primer bomb this one creates more of a even campus for your makeup it's more like whipped so this just blurs out the pores more i don't know if you guys can see the difference but elf is just more matte and thinner this one feels like a really nice whipped cream so it really does do a great job at blurring the pores out another primer that i love it's the hard candy hydrating primer this is a 12 hour makeup grip it reminds me a lot of the new huda beauty one and also the milk one the milk primer is a little bit more like gripping but this one just hydrates my skin very very nicely so when i do have my eczema flare-ups this is something i use and it makes my makeup just look really pretty and fresh so if you're looking for something that makes you look fresh this is a good primer for you and then the last primer i want to mention is the jelly pop by elf this is again a gripping primer that just makes your makeup look fresh like you have your life together you're drinking your water life is good you know so now let's talk about something that i love which is foundations i do have a wear test for these two foundations that i'm gonna mention so the first one it's the let's start with this one the elf cc cream or the camel cc cream it has full coverage it also has spf 20 and i'm in the shade medium 330 w only bad thing about this is the shade range i feel like it's not that good it's missing a lot of undertones in my opinion like for me this is a little bit too yellowy so i do have to mix it with a neutral tone foundation other than that you guys that's like the only bad thing it wears nicely it looks good on oily skin it doesn't emphasize my texture it doesn't give me like breakouts so really really good cc cream another foundation that i have done a wear test is on this one which is the profusion feel good skin perfect foundation this one has hyaluronic acid medium to full coverage finish it has a natural satin finish so again more natural looking foundations good for every single day i feel like that's really trendy right now which i love but like i love me a good matte foundation too so for my matte finished foundation you guys know i love the heart candy glamouflage full coverage 16 hour wear oil free foundation in the shade honey this is like my second year using this i think maybe i'm i think i'm lying i'm lying you guys i think it's my first year maybe it's my i don't know but it's a really good foundation they recently changed the packaging so it looks a lot more cute heart candy it's another brand like i said that is just killing it lately let me know if you guys would like to see a top five drugstore foundation again and i will make sure and do that but they all wear really nicely on oily skin if you guys have acne prone skin i definitely recommend you pick this out so in my last video i didn't have any higher end concealer that i wanted to recommend because i feel like the drugstore does that perfectly and these are my two favorite so i'm gonna start with the one i've been using the longest which is the l'oreal infallible full wear in the shade cashew so it looks like this it's really nice it has a large applicator and it gives you full coverage this one is a more neutral shade which i love it really neutralized it but yet it still has a yellow undertone so really pretty shade this concealer lasts all day it gives you coverage it's matte without drying your eyes and it just it's a beautiful concealer so i love this one and then i also love this one from elf the hydrating camel concealer in the shade medium beige so this one looks like this again it has that really nice applicator this one is more hydrating than the l'oreal one it wears amazing for everyday natural finished makeup if you want to do more glam makeup it works great with that too it doesn't like emphasize little lines underneath the eye so two of my favorite concealers uh, the next category it's all about powders and pressed powders my favorite pressed powder is this one from ellie girl it's the pro face high definition matte pressed powder in the shade nude beige so as you guys can see i love this i probably have gone through five of them it's a really thin lightweight powder that makes you matte and gives you extra coverage and just makes everything look more smooth since i do have texture 
pressed powders really do help me and it makes my makeup look more airbrushed so this is something i love it's like the best drugstore pressed powder and then for setting powders i do have two or three or four i don't know how many do i have so i have this one from elve the halo glow setting powder now this one gives you a really nice glow i don't use it underneath my eye what i do i use it as highlighter and it gives you a really nice texture girl friendly glow it's super super nice so this is what it looks like i'm in the shade light i think they have like three shades but yeah light works amazing and that's how i use that powder so if you guys have textured skin try that out and also if you have oily skin and you want your highlighter to last and look good and blend with your like natural oils that one is a really good like tip so maybelline fit me og shade light medium gives you full coverage it actually like smoothens everything out and it gives you that extra coverage if you're not looking for extra coverage and just to blur out the skin i would recommend this one from maybelline it's the lasting fix in the shade banana it's a translucent setting powder all day matte finish and it definitely does that i feel like this powder doesn't get talked about a lot but trust me it really does make like oily skin um it's really oily skin friendly that's what i meant to say and then the last one i want to mention is this one from essence it's the loose fitting fixing powder it's an instant blur effect a natural matte finish and it does exactly that i'm in the shade light essence is another brand that doesn't really have that good of a shade range so that's like one thing i notice a lot a drugstore really does need to expand their shades um so hopefully we can see that in the upcoming year but really nice powder i do have a video talking all about my favorite drugstore setting powders so check that video out if you haven't seen it so for bronsters um the only one that i've been loving that it's at the drugstore i really like the way it makes my skin look it's this one from physicians formula so again if you guys want to see more check that video out but just to keep it just really you know fast and rapido i will recommend you guys stick to physicians formula the butter collection this looks something like this this one comes in a palette you can buy it separately 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 i cannot say that word but my favorite color is in the shade sunset bronzer i also recently bought the all-star palette from physicians formula in this color right here it's a really beautiful warm tone color and it reminds me a lot of the fenty beauty island theme color um so you don't have to buy this palette i saw you guys tag me that they are selling it separately se i cannot say that word individually um so i would just recommend you buy that instead of this palette because the shade range is just you know not that good moving on to blushes i am definitely a blush girl so i recommend the essence the blush color this is in the shade beloved this is only three dollars i think or four and it has a really nice mid-tone like pinky shade it's really really pretty they're pigmented they do what a blush is supposed to do for under five dollars so i love that i also really like the elf blushes again under five dollars this is a really nice like dupe for the cover effects so it comes with the highlighter here and then the blush color here my favorite shade and the one i use the most is white peach yeah that's what it's called and then that's what it looks like swatch super pigmented and again it does what it's supposed to do on a budget under five dollars if you guys like that brighten effect that i've been loving recently i use this one today this is the essence brighten up banana powder this is again an amazing scene under five little like powder to it just does something to your makeup if you like that soft glam effect and you are like i'm missing something in my face like something's off I would recommend you apply something like this and you will see a huge difference you see it just like brightens up your complexion and it just makes everything look really nice so let's talk about lip combos or lip liners everything lips i have done two separate videos this year talking about my favorite nude drugstore lip combos so please make sure you guys go watch it in case you guys haven't yet so super quickly morphe sweet tea 
It's like the best lip liner ever. It's $4. I also really been enjoying the e.l.f. lip liners that come in a set. It does have a pink. I don't use that shade. So hopefully e.l.f. can just release this by itself. This is from the Retro Paradise collection. And they don't even have like a name. They just come in like a little set. So I really enjoy that. They have like bomb brown lip liners. And then the last one, it's the Milani Understatement Liner in the shade Saucy Toffee. It's actually what I have on right now with L'Oreal Sweet Tooth and the Makeup Shack Lip Gloss. So super quickly, another favorite of mine, it's the Maybelline Driver Liquid Lipstick. You guys know that's like my favorite shade ever. I also really enjoyed the Super Stain Matte Inks. So I like the whole coffee collection. These are really nice fall winter shades. So this is in the color 270. And then I also really like 255 as well. It's just like really pretty fall colors. Another one that I just discovered that I love, it's the Wet n Wild Liquid Lipsticks. These are very, very nice and affordable. Wet n Wild is again another great brand. So this is in the shade Give Me Mocha. It's like a really pretty like mid-tone pink shade but like it's like really flattering look that's what it looks like on it's really pretty you guys and it's definitely like one of my favorite colorful lip combos that it's not like you know my nude i also really enjoyed the juvia's place lip liners and lipsticks these are again really nice i recommend the shade libra um muted they have another shade i'll have the names below but you guys can get this at ulta and they remind me so much of the huda beauty lipsticks but of course way more affordable so that's what they look like really nice packaging they're creamy they're matte they just they are really nice quality for a lipstick. I also really like the Maybelline Lifter glosses. I did a whole video swatching them in case you guys haven't seen that video. This one in the shade Moon, it's a really nice color just to wear every single day. Even though we cannot really wear lip gloss, but when we can, you know, we're prepared. Last thing I want to talk to you guys about is some setting sprays that I love. So, of course, Maybelline Lasting Fix Up to 16 Hour Wear Setting Spray. This is like legit and it actually makes your oils stay away and it makes your makeup last longer. So, you know, I love setting spray that actually does what they're supposed to do. Another one that actually works is this one from e.l.f. It's the Mad blotting mist the elf plus matte blotting mist this is again something you have to shake well just like the makeup forever one they're really similar you have to make sure you shake them well and then spray them and then go in with like a sponge and then go like that so everything you know blends and actually like stays into place so some setting spray for my oily girls my oily skin girls and then the last thing i want to mention it's this little tool right here from revlon it's an oil controlling like i don't know roller this actually works you guys and it makes your makeup um it removes the oils without using the blotting sheets it just comes in like a little roller like this and then you just clean it after i would say after every three uses or when it gets dirty Make sure you guys clean it and it's just something you can reuse and not buy like the blotting sheets and it actually works. So yeah guys, that is it. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. I lied to you guys. Don't go just yet. So I'm going to mention to you guys some shimmer that I love that I almost forgot in the eye category. This is the Flower Jungle Lights shimmers what is this called jungle lights shadow palette if you love shimmer like i do definitely get this palette look let me swatch it for you guys you guys see how pigmented this is it's i believe 20 dollars. you can get it online and it's just a hidden gem at the drugstore look at that it's super shimmery and just gorgeous and delicious and i love this so definitely check this out if you love a good shimmer but yeah guys that is all i have for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did do not forget to give this video a thumbs up please comment below your drugstore favorites i really want to know i love reading all your comments and i really appreciate everybody who takes time of your or their day to comment below um i also do want to do a little giveaway on this video all you have to do is like this video comment below your instagram handle 
in leave pink heart emojis so you can comment anything you want just make sure you guys comment the pink heart emojis and your instagram handle so i know you're participating in this giveaway so i'm gonna be giving one of you guys five of my favorite drugstore products so you guys can go ahead and test them out as well um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me not only in this video but this whole year and you know the years before that if you guys have been following me for that long if you guys are new to my channel you guys just discovered me this year i really really appreciate it thank you so much you guys for everybody who you know just has been supporting me um, i'm a latina doing this so it really means a lot that i get you guys support so i'm gonna go ahead and go you guys thank you so much for watching i am sending you guys a lot of love a lot of healing energy a lot of positive energy and i'm getting emotional so i'm gonna go ahead and go happy 2021 and i'll see you guys on the next video bye guys